Hey guys, welcome back to Hustle Hall and Ho. Well, we made it up here to uh, Indianapolis last night. We stayed at the Planet Fitness right here, right there. So, pretty uneventful night last night. We came up through Nashville, hit some traffic on 65 as we came out of Nashville. We made it here in Indianapolis, spent the night. It's almost 10 a.m. Trucks warmed up, free trips done. And we're about to hit the road. We're about two and a half to three hours from the uh, North Goshen Yard where we're going to uh, pick up this next set of campers going up to uh, Ripley, West Virginia. And then uh, get back with you guys once we get there. Guys, we're here at the yard in Goshen. What we're gonna do right now, get back check our VIN numbers real quick. Two units we're gonna be picking up. Then you always want to do a quick look around your unit. Make sure you don't notice any major noticeable damage right off the bat. And then you'll do a more extensive check of the unit before you pull out with it. Get all my paperwork together here and start loading these up. We got our paperwork out of each unit. I keep these in the paperwork so I keep them separated. And now we'll start getting lined up and ready to load up. Get any accessories that might be laying around that goes with the unit. Thank you. 
so I can raise the jack up in order to put my wheel on because I have to have a wheel to pull the uh, first unit up on the trailer. Here. pictures through our app submitted those submitted all my paperwork so everything's good now all i gotta do is just get them loaded up and we'll be ready to go something happens with my winch or my strap brakes, I've got a backup to keep the camper from rolling off the truck. Thank you. 
we've got that in, locked in place. We'll get our wheel straps out. Then we will strap the other wheel down on the other side and that's it for loading the one on the deck. Okay, we are backed up here to the second unit. Look this one up. Don't want to forget the wheel that goes with it. We're not going to put it on because that then drops the drops it lower to the ground. And as this thing flexes and everything, we don't want this wheel hitting the ground tearing it up. We'll take it and put it in our box. We've got our battery. It goes on this rear unit. I've got a large battery and a small battery. Small battery works real good on these small units. Large battery for the larger units when I was doing single pulls like fifth wheels. The lock, we're gonna lock this trailer on with. Strap for the battery. It's a DLT violation if your battery's not strapped. And then we have an extension for the cord where this rear unit sits back so far off of my truck. Because a lot of times these units will stick over so you have to keep that clearance. We've got an extension for the uh, lights and stuff. Black tape. You always want to tape your connectors up so they don't pull unplugged. your battery hooked up or mounted then you hook up your positive and your negatives and this is your breakaway battery in case the uh, trailer comes loose and it pulls the breakaway cable brakes will automatically engage hooked up you're done we've got to put our tag on we'll check all of our lights do one final walk around 
make sure we ain't forgot nothing and then we'll be on our way that's how you load up a hauling tow checked in got our paperwork sent in we're about to head out oh this place was a little muddy usually you pull in they got nice gravel lots or you know something along the lines of that but this one was a little muddy but like i said they're checked in no problems we'll submit our paperwork and we'll get paid here in about an hour and we're headed back to indiana